What can the field of emergency management teach us about surviving the zombie apocalypse? I'm a professor of emergency and disaster management. In disaster management, emergency response starts at the local level to deal with what we call a risk or a hazard. When local authorities can't handle the crisis, it becomes, well, a disaster. If you ask me how long our society would stand before collapsing in a zombie apocalypse, well, I've got some really bad news for you. Not long. It'd only be a matter of days before an outbreak becomes a global disaster in our interconnected world. A zombie apocalypse would overcome every institution or authority worldwide. So in other words, well, you're on your own. But here's how I'd stay among the living. First thing about surviving a zombie apocalypse is you have to outrun your friends, not the zombies. Sorry, John, had to be done. The golden rule in emergency management is to save lives. With zombies, that means getting somewhere safe with the added pressure that every life saved is one less zombie to worry about. In most emergency situations, you'll need to stock up on essentials, starting with items that will keep you alive. That typically starts with water, which you can solely survive on for three to five days. Then comes food and medicine, followed by relatively luxurious goods, such as batteries or candles, if you find those luxurious. But this isn't Twister or the day after tomorrow. We're talking about literal walking dead. So if you're going to try to survive against zombies bent on infecting you, step one, securing a weapon to protect yourself. And once you have supplies, a place to bunker down is the next thing you want to secure. The more remote your home base is from zombie hotspots and the closer you are to natural resources, well, the better. I know in popular TV shows, the heroes are often on the move. But when you're a nomad in an apocalypse, you're at a disadvantage. You don't know the terrain or important landmarks. You have no place to hunker down if you need to hide. And well, you can't carry many supplies with you. Finally, be prepared for a zombie apocalypse and really any disaster. If you have the means, stock up on canned goods, water, medicines, candles, and any other essentials that can sustain you. And always have more than you need, just like your Halloween candy. Oh, good luck. Stay safe this spooky season. The rotters are climbing. I repeat, the rotters are climbing the wall. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit.